a sports bra, but oh well, that's all right. But guys, I have some amazing, amazing news uh, that I haven't shared with you guys yet. Oh my gosh, it is super cool and just totally a dream come true. Mabuhay squad, the great news is... Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. I'm on a billboard, guys. OMG, so cool. Um, I'm on several big, massive billboards. Like, this is one of the, those milestones I can check off my dream list. Um, so, just over the weekend, a bunch of really big billboards of Global Strategic, which you guys know as the company of our good friend Mark Matsuyama and Ro Matsuyama. So if you recall, um, last weekend we were in Cebu, um, and while we were in Cebu, Mark sent me all of these photos of these massive Global Strategic billboards um, with me on it. <laughs> So they're all over Bacolod City here in the Philippines and man guys I'm looking at these photos and I'm just mind blown like it just so crazy um, It's always been a dream of mine to be on a billboard and yeah, so that's the great news and If any of you are in Bacolod keep an eye out for these billboards. They're all over the city um, and in even some of the most heavily traffic areas like the one of the biggest intersections in Bacolod has a billboard there uh, so yay really really happy about that and yeah that's the great news I wanted to share with all of you so cool thank you life thank you universe thank you Lord high <laughs> squad so having a haircut with the one and only Jesse you remember Jesse changed hair style I love it very nice very bad guy okay guys it's time my hair is getting shaggy so I'm gonna cut it short again guys what do you think perfect right thank you so much Jesse again thank you where can they find you online um, Instagram JC Paginaway on YouTube Jimboy Paginaway awesome you. thank you So I always give them double the fare because you know they could really use it. Thank you. No. Thank you. All right. Now double check if I left anything. I didn't do that last time. Oh, I love taking tricycle. I am here at my sacred space. Oh, <laughs> love it. So good. So um, when I checked in, guys, they informed me that, well, to the best of my understanding of their Tagalog, because my Tagalog isn't the best, but I believe they said that a crew, a camera crew or something has arrived and they're going to be vlogging the gym for a bit. So they're just gonna let me know when that camera crew is arriving and I have to stop working out for a bit while they vlog the gym. And I'm like, what? There's a vlogger here. Someone is gonna vlog this gym. I'm so curious to see who this vlogger is. Um, but yeah, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Or maybe it's just one of those like demo videos, like this is the gym of the country club. So I don't know, but the, the crew just arrived. So it seems like it's gonna be like a hardcore production vlog. Like it's not just a one person vlog, like you, you and I here, Mabuhay Squad. So I'm very curious to see who will be coming here to vlog. They should have just asked me. All right, guys, finished at the gym. Gosh, I love this country club. Splendido, thank you for existing. I was not asked to be excused. No vlogger came. Apparently, I asked the front desk lady and she says the vlogger and his crew are currently vlogging the rooms. And I said, Ate, what vlogger is it? And apparently the name of the vlogger is Manila Shim Bun. It's really cool that influencers can help like promote establishments, right? Like RJ and I, we 
try to promote Sonia's garden as at every opportunity because we've fallen in love with the staff there. Hi, bye Koya, thank you. Just as I've fallen in love with the staff here, they're really awesome. Um, and yeah, like anything we can do to promote so that people have employment, right? I remember back when we had first moved to Sonia's garden, people, like there were some comments in the comment section saying, oh, like you're such a sellout. Mikey keeps having, we get it, you're staying at Sonia's garden. Why do you keep plugging it? You know, you, you're plugging it so that you can fulfill your ex deal because you're staying there for free. No, we are, RJ and I are paying per month full rent uh, to stay at Sonia's garden. And we're promoting it because again, the staff at Sonia's garden are like our family and they need livelihood. So anything RJ and I could do to promote them, we are happy to. It's a world of collabs, right? This for that. You help me, I help you kind of thing, right? You know, once Kanye West said this quote that I'll never forget. If you can't be used, then you're useless. <laughs> Meaning this is a world of like mutual benefit and help. So everyone benefits from a partnership, right? And I never forgot that. If you can't be used, you're useless. And so you have a choice. You could like, in, for example, in my circumstance, one could see it like, oh, you're just using your social media status and following to get things for free, to get things at lowered cost and taking full advantage of your social media privilege. You could see it like that, or you could see it like, RJ and I might get things for X deal, but we're also promoting them. And I could be jaded and say, you know, the corporations are using my social media that I built on YouTube. They're using your viewership to get a advertisement money. I'm being used for my talents to make YouTube, the corporation money, to make Google or ABC company money. I'm being used, I'm a pawn. Well, you could see it that way too, but I like to see it in a more positive light. Like, I'm helping other people, other people are helping me. That's just the way it is. It's a flow of good from me to you, from you to me, from us to everyone else. I don't know, perhaps I just see the world through rose-colored glasses. What do you guys think? <sighs> this hill is a killer. And don't think being used is not natural. You need not look further than any mutualistic symbiotic relationship. All of you Ant Canada watchers know exactly what I mean. I don't know where I adapted this mostly positive way of thinking, but for as long as I've known, like even when I was paid minimum wage, for example, working for an online jeweler in Montreal, I was grateful because instead of me thinking, oh, the company's using my hard work and paying me scraps so I could get by, I was like, no, I'm using the company because later I found out that if I work extra hours at home, they would pay me time and a half. OMG, did I use that company? And they used me. We used each other. We were both not useless. And that's how I afforded beer money Ooh, and rent. <laughs> and you know what else? I also find no one likes a complainer in life. Like, it was very rare that I complained in my younger years when I was working for companies. I don't know, just when you're content and have a pleasing disposition, you're more, like, you're more likely to get promoted. And this is something I learned very quickly in all my various jobs. Usually in under a year, they would, prom they would offer me a promotion to some higher position. Because, you know, when you make other people happy in the workplace, somehow it spreads to them and they like more of that. And especially the bosses who have lots of like responsibilities. They want to surround themselves with pleasing people, not complainers, nor people who make excuses. Do, do any of you agree? Are any of you bosses or managers out there? Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. What's your secret to get promoted, guys? Guys, weather is perfect for walking home. I think I'm just gonna walk the whole way. Awesome. Okay guys, positive affirmation for Tuesday, November the 9th. Financial security makes me feel good about my future. I make decisions to support my well-being in this and all areas of my life. 
There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation. Say it with me. Financial security makes me feel good about my future. I make decisions to support my well-being in this and all areas of my life. Once again, farmer's tan on point. Mm -hmm. And guys, this positive affirmation is awesome. I make decisions to support my well-being in this. This being financial security to make you feel good about the future and all areas of my life. Maybe we haven't all been there, but I've certainly been here, guys, where I didn't have very much money and I had to, to get by. And I had, you know, there were many times when I had the choice, okay, do I save this money that I've managed to get from, say, a very good high paying gig for my future? Or do I just splurge and use it to like vacation for a week in Cuba? <laughs> Hmm, such a hard decision. Back then, I was really bad with money, guys. Like, saving money for me was such on the low priority list. Like, I just wanted to live a little. Not even a little, I lived every time. I chose, I chose based on what would gratify me the most, the quickest. Um, and like looking back now, now that I'm older and wiser, um, that isn't always the right choice and the best, most beneficial choice. Because what happens? I vacation in Cuba, I would end up spending more than what I had earned. So I would be in the hole even more using my bank card in Cuba. And then like, it's just this, this vicious, vicious cycle. And then like, what comes next? Oh, Christmas. Oh, I've got to buy everyone gifts. So you know what I mean? It's this person's birthday or I'm being invited to this dinner with my friends or oh it's karaoke night at this bar so I, I would always find excuses to like spend my money and then I would always end up miserable because I have no money in the end I would keep losing money like I didn't feel good about my future and financial security like to me financial security what is that in those days um, but that's why I love this positive affirmation I make decisions to support my well-being in this financial security and all areas of my life so i hope you guys like this positive affirmation because i wish i had said this more often earlier in my life <sighs> ah, delayed gratification i believe that's what they call it yeah hey guys i have some awesome news they i'm so proud of you <laughs> mabu high squad the most coolest news ever about rj my partner and that news is this.